My Warlock Warmind Cell video has been doing really well recently, so I decided to make one for the Titans. Don't worry hunters, I haven't forgotten about you. I've been running lots of tests to get the recipe just right for you. But without further ado, here is my Titan Warmind Cell build. To start things off is Modular Lightning. Collecting a Warmind Cell creates a chaining burst of Arc Lightning. Then we have Blessing of Rasputin. Collecting a Warmind Cell increases the chances that your next final blow with a 7 Seraph weapon will create a Warmind Cell. On the chest plate is Sheltering Energy. Collecting a Warmind Cell grants you an Overshield. Then we have Warmind's Protection on the mark so that we take less damage from enemies that are standing near Warmind Cells. And finally there's the ACD slash O Feedback Fence. They have the perk Fury Conductors. Melee hits build up energy. Being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. Then I went and put global reach on it so that the warmind cells reach further. Then for champions, I used the unstoppable shotgun and overloaded auto rifle mods. The super that I like to use for this is the code of the juggernaut. So much of this build relies on being up close and personal with enemies that the juggernaut lends itself well to this build. Meleeing enemies triggers health regeneration, reloads weapons, and increases damage. For the kinetic slot, I use 7th Seraph Carbine with auto-loading holster and elemental capacitor. Because I'm using an arc subclass, elemental capacitor maxes out the handling stat, and the weapon can be swapped out lightning fast. And since it's a 7th Seraph weapon, it can spawn warmind cells. In the energy slot is the 7th Seraph CQC-12. It has Vorpal Weapon, which makes it do bonus damage against bosses and vehicles. It also has Lead from Gold, so whenever we gain heavy ammo, it also gains special ammo. I also put Boss Spec on it, which stacks with Vorpal Weapon. So when it comes to champions, this shotgun hits like a speeding freight train. Plus, since it's a 7th Seraph weapon, it can also spawn Warmind Cells on kills. And for the heavy slot is Tractor Cannon, or as it's affectionately known in the community, Boop Cannon. It has the perk Scientific Method and Repulsor Force. Scientific Method temporarily increases speed and handling after damaging an opponent, and Repulsor Force emits a powerful impulse that pushes enemies away, suppresses their abilities, and makes them more vulnerable to incoming damage. Then if you have the Catalyst, it has increased ammo reserves. Now here's where things get interesting. Tractor Cannon is a shotgun in the heavy slot. Running double shotgun ammo finder perks counts for Tractor Cannon. So, you will find heavy ammo more often for it, and since the 7th Seraph shotgun has lead from gold, it's actually hard to run out of ammo for the 7th Seraph shotgun. So, the name of the game is to punch and shotgun until a Warmind Cell pops up, then quickly run over and collect the Warmind Cell to zap everything in a nearby vicinity. Something to note, however, is that while cellular suppression can work around corners and behind cover, the modular lightning only works in line of sight from the cell. Now, for champions, we have the auto rifle and shotguns for overload and unstoppable, but what of the barrier champions? Well, that's where tractor cannon comes in. If you can do it fast enough, they can be suppressed from the tractor cannon, then have a couple shots put into their faces with the Vorpal Boss Specs shotgun. Then if that doesn't kill them, quickly suppress them again with tractor cannon before they can put their barriers up. And if they do manage to put their barriers up, don't sweat it. There's a couple seconds between their barriers, that's more than ample time for the tractor cannon and shotguns to just completely obliterate them. And if you want to throw a little bit of silliness into the mix, if you're in an area where there's a champion standing near a ledge, the tractor cannon can knock them off the edge of the map. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.